Hello again, here we are with part 3 of the Gobi's Valley playthrough. Um, now, for those of you who remember our last video, we had Gobi the camel running off in search of some shade. Now, I remember before I ran back to the tree, but really, where else do you run for shade in a desert except trees? So I hope that this could be one of those cool things where you sort of get two jiggies for the price of one. Aha, oh, yes, and here he is. Okay, so... This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Bollocks you do! Awesome. Awesome. Hold. Oh, the tree is now making an epic face. Me, tree. Ah, so how do we... Come on, tree. Why betray me? Why do that? Why be all his G and then be all you can't climb me? So yeah, I'll just jump from here. Make it, make it, make it. Yes! Alright. We're in the G business and G. Wait, no, screwed that up. We're in the business of G's and business is good. Oh. I'm going to see if I can go rob. Grubber. Or grabber. Or whatever his name was. Also, having learned every move in the game, which, you know, at this point we have, um, is anyone else still subscribing to my theory that of this Banjo-Kazooie partnership, Kazooie really does all the work, like, every single move in this game, without, a, like, any exception, has been Kazooie, not Banjo. Banjo really does absolutely nothing. He is essentially the backpack Kazooie rides in. That's his claim to fame. Um... Admittedly, I know for a fact that does all change in the second game, but this is not the second game, and therefore no exceptions will be made. Oh, I'm just going to touch every single thing, aren't I? Give me a jiggy! Yes! Oh, come on. Who has something for a thousand years, has it stolen, and then says, well done? No man, get mad. You know you want to. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. What have we done? We've conquered the Kazooie target thing. There's so many doors in this level that don't open. That's one thing I'm sort of. I wouldn't say extremely paranoid about, but well, you know, extremely paranoid about. And then we've got that pyramid which opened, the middle pyramid which opened. And this one opened as well, it actually drained out all the water. Um, now I'll just try and think if we did do this one. We might just go in again just to make absolutely double triple sure. Because otherwise I'm sort of really out of ideas of where we might find Jiggy's first. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what that Also, motorbike, broom broom, I'm a cool kid. What is this? Yeah, yeah, this is the memory game. We've already done this. So we've got the memory game jiggy, we've got all those different pyramids. That all makes sense. We're all okay with that. But then, there's sort of random sections of the level that don't want to open. I mean, you've got the, the Sphinx here. Uh, I know one jiggy. We know where one is. One is the, the Jinjo. We haven't got those yet. So then there's the banjo door there, which doesn't want to open. Now the other thing is, um, we all remember I was talking about Stop and Swap earlier. Um, I believe it was when I went back to get Nipper's... Oh, death. I believe it was when I went back to get Nipper's Jiggy, um, in Trove Trove Cove. Now, I know for a fact that one of those doors is, Nipper, uh, is um, Stop and Swap related. There is an egg, one of those coloured eggs in Gobi Valley. I actually do intend to do a video at some point where I basically run around and grab as many of those as I can, but there's really no point in doing that video until we get to Mad Monster Mansion, because that's where two of the five eggs lie. Um, there's also one in Click Clock Wood, but I'm sort of not really... Click Clock Wood, Rusty Bucket Bay, and then there's one actually on Shark Food Island itself. Um, so I know, long story short, I know one of those doors that we can't open, that's what that is. That doesn't explain the other one. The other one is still a mystery to me. So 
Okay, there's this door here. Ah! Now, Gobi appears to be here. Haha, -ha, maybe this is the solution we've been looking for. Hello, Gobi. Can I, like, smack your face? Ooh, okay. Oh wow, we have successfully forced Gobi to leave his own desert. Champion effort, guys. Um, meanwhile, didn't really do much in terms of G's. We're doing an empty honeycomb piece. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. I really would like to know where this other jiggy is. No, stop. I've got to stop accidentally doing the invincibility thing. Hmm. Again, I, I don't want to waste time. Um, I don't want to waste your guys' time by running around repeatedly trying to find the jiggy that, for the life of me, I swear, does not exist. That's, um, that's really not fair to you guys. But, I'll give it a red hot go here for a little while and just see what we can come up with. So that was the platform where we found Gobi. This one up here with the switch on top is the... That's the memory game room. I'm still curious about, not so much this pyramid in the middle here, that seems to have pretty much resolved itself, it's the king's tomb. I'm more concerned about this water, which is there now, and, and, ah, oh, there's a kazooie going as well. Um, so the thing that surprised me about this water being here, is that normally in this game, you may have noticed, when you, um, when you hit something that, that causes something to happen, like, say, this thing flooding, the, if you leave the level, like, say you die, like I did before, the level resets. Unless it's some, like, massive permanent change that you're meant to do as part of a jiggy and never reverses itself. So, for example, when we raised Clanker up out of the water, Clanker stayed like that forever. So the fact that this water is still here, coupled with the fact that the still here water has stuff at the bottom of it, like a flight pad that, you know, isn't there for no reason, the game probably in terms of the use said flight pad, makes me think that there must be some way to drain that. And you know, something like draining an entire thing, that that, it, that just screams jiggy, essentially. But, you know, as to how, that becomes the problem. Hmm. What we might do is head back into the king's tomb, and see if we can find anything else of value. Maybe we'll be out of time limit this time? No, no, still out of time limit. Excellent. Uh, you know what? I've got a minute to explore. I mean, we do know there there are things down the dead ends, as evidenced by the grunty switch. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anything major. Let's just get out of here. Hopefully alive. Uh, we'll grab the ginger as well. I know where the yellow one is, we're just looking for the orange one now. I tell you, this game gets intense somewhere along the line there, doesn't it? At the start it was all happy go lucky, you know. Everyone was just chilling out, having a good time, and now suddenly we're here. No idea where this last jiggy is. Um, the other thing to consider is it is entirely possible that it is a jiggy that I must come and reclaim after I um, get a new ability. Oh no, it isn't, because we've learned all the abilities. Wow, so there really is absolutely zero excuse for not knowing where it is, hey. Um, speaking of which, freeze easy peak, 9 out of 10 jiggies, worked out where the last one is. Went back there and had a look the other day, and um, there was a pair of these speed boots next to... Boggo, Boggy, the um, the guy you have to beat in the race. So what I'm assuming is, at some point you have to beat him as Banjo and Kazooie. So yeah, that's, that's where we're going with that. Hmm. Alright, let's talk about other things. So guys, are you happy with the Let's Play so far? Um, 
I mean, let me know. It's my first time doing anything like this, so I, I know I'm probably not going to do it exactly right the first time. So, I mean, there's some things you guys probably noticed that you're wondering if I've noticed, and for those of you like, okay, yes, I know my mic is kind of robot -y. I'm sorry about that. Um, it is a combination of how I speak when I'm on camera, if you will, and the fact that the mic itself isn't exactly fantastic quality, but without spending like extreme amounts of money on a studio mic, there's really not much I can do about it. Um, the other thing is the ambient noise. I know there's a lot of traffic and stuff like that. Again, if I could do something about it, I'd love to for you guys, but it is kind of hard. Um, the third thing is the camera quality. Now, the actual cam program I use is pretty near, it's not so fantastic all the time. Um, the other thing is, for some reason, it publishes YouTube videos, or it saves these videos, and a 15 minute video is like a gig, which means it takes like four hours to upload to YouTube, which is cool and all, but you know, as much as I love uploading four hours at a time, um, whereas, you know, if I drop the resolution down to like 480p, it uploads a lot quicker. So that sort of explains the camera quality a bit. But I noticed, especially on levels like Clanker's Cavern, this level, and Bubble Gloop Swamp, it seems that any time I'm near like um, a large body of something moving, like say the sand on the walls here, or, um, you know, water or something like that, the camera quality goes shocking. But really not much I can do about it, unfortunately, guys. Um, that being said, if there are any budding audio engineer multimedia people out there, guys, if you've got ideas for, like, you know, oh, use this cam program, it's better, um, you know, this cam program is better, this um, audio setup will give you better all quality audio, this um, cam program will give you awesome picture quality, tell me. There is no way in hell I will ever turn down suggestions that will improve the quality of the video. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone benefits. Um, I benefit because you guys are happy, and you guys benefit because you get better quality videos. So, yeah, make sure you let me know. Anyway, that, that's all. That's, that's our little deep and meaningful talk there about the quality of the videos. I never thought I'd be having deep and meaningful conversations about audio engineering, but whatever. It's early days yet. Um, as you guys can see, I'm pretty much resigned to note gathering. This is, I mean, this is the one thing I said I never wanted to do on camera was gather notes, but I, I don't know where this last ginger is. I, I don't know where this last jiggy is. It's, it's not looking fantastic for anyone at the moment. Hmm. Tell you what, we might end this video a little bit early, just because I don't want to run around and bore you guys to death. Um and I will run around the level, and if I find anything, I'll let you know. If not, I may just start the next video with me going and unlocking the picture for Mad Monster Mansion. And then we can all sit around and sing the Monster Mash together and be the best of friends. Alright, so, ending the video slightly early. I'll see you guys in a bit. Have fun, stay safe.